Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here. I'm here today with a tutorial on how to create great overlays for YouTube gaming or Twitch. Uh, of course, I'm doing mobile gaming and most of you guys will be looking for some mobile, but we're gonna cover pretty much uh, both formats. And all everything I use, it's free. It's very simple. I do it simple. I'm not pretending I'm a pro or anything. I don't even, I never use Photoshop in my life, okay? Everything I know, I learned from scratch by googling and trying stuff but like it's simple and i know if i can do it you guys can do it so let's look at it i will put the, the um, links in the description of everything i use so first thing i want to show you guys is the pixeler editor it's uh, an online uh web thing it's free and it's always been free as long as i can as long as i've been using it some stuff i used to uh used to create in the past it was free and then all of a sudden they want to charge you that really sucks you get used to to something you get good at it and then boom cannot it, use it anymore so that one is free and uh maybe one thing you want to do before or two things you want to do before creating your overlay first is maybe have an idea of what you want okay like maybe you can draw on a sheet of paper with a pencil what you want your overlay to be like you want your game screen in the middle with your cam on the left or your cam on the right like what do you want on your overlay that's the step one for sure you need to have an idea because you're gonna just waste your time second thing is maybe serve the web and try to find some images that you want as a background uh, make it super simple guys you don't want too many details and too many things because people will watch you and they watch the gameplay okay the overlay needs to be simple in my opinion not a lot of flashy things all right so uh what i did uh i created uh, a folder here with some backgrounds um i went to google i searched like 1080p backgrounds i got a purple one i got a green one i got a blue one just for the examples today that's not the ones or they are not the ones that i use for my um my streams it's just like it took me one minute okay i went to google i typed 1080p over uh, 1080p backgrounds and i just saved three images that i'm gonna use as a, an example so maybe have a folder with some background images that you like cool i'm back to work now so what you want to do first i'm gonna put the link in the description by the way it's pixelr.com editor and you want to go and create a new image and that thing right here is super important. First of all, uh, we're gonna go 1920 by 1080. And don't forget to click that thing here, transparent. This is gonna be the transparent background. Very, very important to have a transparent background when you do an overlay, because if there's no background, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be black, I think. Anyways, so here we go. We got our 1080p background. And we're gonna go here on layer top thing layer and we're gonna go open image as a layer so what we're gonna do is put a transparent background and put a background on top of the transparent thing okay so i'm gonna go with uh i don't know let's let's do the the green one okay like this is just a random image guys you guys can do better than that i'm sure but like yeah, Lisa, I'm thinking about you right now. I know you like that nature stuff. So just an example, okay? So we got our uh, 16 by 9, 1080p background with a transparent layer B behind that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut some parts to put the webcam or the face cam and one part to put the gameplay, okay? So of course, like I said, before you do that, you need to know where do you want your gameplay? You want it on the right? Or right in the middle you want your chat do you want to chat under the webcam like this is your part guys okay but it's just gonna go with random stuff okay so we're gonna go on the tools on the left and we're gonna go on the marquee tool or the rectangle selection tool you know that you can select rectangles and as you can see there's no um, there's no restriction for the ratio okay it's gonna do re uh, random rectangles and so you can select a rectangle and you can move it around okay 
But what we're gonna do here, wanna be super precise. We're gonna go on constraint. Is that right? Constraint. It's at no restriction right now. We're gonna go and select aspect ratio on the top left. And know your dimensions, guys, okay? If you do mobile games, a phone is 9 by 16. Or if it, the game is like that, like Clash of Clans, it's going to be 16 by 9, okay? If it's like Clash Royale, it's 9 by 16. Know that, remember that. Remember 16 and remember 9, okay? So we're going to go Clash Royale style. So 9 by 16, <clears throat> that's our ratio. So now... When I'm gonna do a rectangle, even if I move, it's gonna stay 9 by 16, okay? So we're gonna click on top of the picture somewhere, anywhere, it doesn't matter because we can move it. And we're gonna go full rectangle from top to bottom, okay? Now my rectangle is 9 by 16. It's gonna be exactly what I need for my gameplay. So let's see, uh, what I like to do is put it. Well, my new overlay has got the gameplay in the middle, but one style that I really like is put the gameplay on one end and put the webcam. And you have a lot more room for the face cam. You'll get a lot of room for your uh, your text, like new subscriber and sub alerts and stuff. And if you're using Lutes.com, it takes a huge rectangle somewhere. You can put it top right, bottom right. And if you put your gameplay in the middle, the loose.com thing will probably interfere with your gameplay sometime. But let's say I want it like that, okay? I want the gameplay on, on the left, okay? So now what you're gonna do is edit and cut. See? Boom! I just remove a part of my background image, but you still see the transparent thing on the back. So when you're gonna put your gameplay, you're gonna put your overlay on top. The transparent part will show the gameplay and you can move it. All right, so that's the cut for the gameplay. Of course, what I like to do is have some borders, okay? I really like having some borders. I don't really want the borders to cover a part of the gameplay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to no restriction and I'm gonna select the marquee tool and I'm gonna cut or select a rectangle a bit larger than my original rectangle okay so think about it the thing that's gonna be bigger is gonna be your border so i could go and cut again edit cut okay so now my rectangle is a bit larger than what i want from my gameplay and i'm gonna go and use the paint bucket tool and i'm gonna fill that rectangle with a, a color uh one thing that can be nice is a color picker tool and select a color that is actually in your original image. So I could pick some green from the trees, like any green would do, would be nice. Could also pick some blue. Well, let's go green. I like green, one of my favorite colors. So let's go back to the color paint bucket tool and click on it. So now my whole rectangle is green. I'm going to go back to uh, that thing here rectangle and we're gonna go back to your spec uh, 9 by 16 there you go see I'm not a pro very simple but I'm gonna go and cut again 16 by 9 rectangle uh, I'm gonna move it so the borders are like take your time guys want it to be super cool so my borders are pretty much even right now so it didn't cut and there you go so now I got a 9 by 16 rectangle for my gameplay, super sharp. And I got some nice green borders left and right of my gameplay. This is gonna look freaking amazing, okay? Now we are gonna go and get something for my face cam. And I like to have a big, big spot for my face cam. Um, so again, rectangle. Aspect ratio is no longer 9 by 16 now, it's 16 by 9. And that here, for the face cam, it doesn't really matter if it's not exactly 9 by 16. Because your, your face cam, you can adjust and, and make it bigger behind the rectangle. But most of the time, 9 by 16 is pretty much what you're looking for, okay? So again, if I move around, it's gonna stay 9 by 16. So I can have a big, nice rectangle for my face cam. But now you gotta think, like, do you, did you want something over? Like, do you want your name? 
on top of the face cam or under the face cam that's gonna dictate where you want to place that rectangle right so if you want like the, the game logo or some like facebook twitter stuff on top you might want to remember to leave some space on top okay or if you want to put your name and your logo on top then you can move it around until you know exactly what you want and then you're gonna have like if you do it something like that and cut so you have you have enough room on top to put something if you want or even your name could be on top and then under look at all the space i got for uh sub alerts um you can even put your chat there if you want and put some text on the top like anything you want there's plenty of room and now i might want to have some border again so i will put that here put it in green and then uh, i'm gonna cut a rectangle inside uh no ratio then trying to make it even pretty much the same size eh. can move it around a little bit just make sure it's up to you but i like my things to look good so that looks pretty even pretty much i'm going fast cut again and there you go so i got a nice rectangle for my face cam with nice green borders you can change the colors if you want if you don't like green like whatever okay and then uh we're pretty much done for the the base of the overlay like once that is set pretty much all the rest you can do with obs like you you set that thing on obs you will first of all you will save that okay file save and make sure you select png transparent full quality and give it a name okay green overlay and there you go uh gonna save that on my uh backgrounds thing for fun okay so like right now i got a base green overlay that i can use and like if you ever change your name if you ever change your logo uh you don't want to redo your old overlay you know um so what you can do is just uh pick up that overlay put it straight on obs and then add images you know from obs you can uh, on your source you can go and add some images so you can add your logo and with obs you can resize and put your logo on top or under and then you can add text and you can capture your uh, stream live stuff put it under another thing i like to do sometimes is like if you're gonna put some text or, or alerts uh, be, uh, under your webcam or something, I like to select a rectangle <clears throat> that's pretty much the same same width or same size. And then you can move it around, make sure it's pretty even like that. And then I'm gonna select the uh, gradient tool. And then the gradient, I'm gonna put it like white on white, from white to white. But you can experiment if you want guys this is just a thing that i do i like to do and the opacity like super transparent like uh 20 or something and then i like to do that okay from top to bottom there you go see what i just did it's just a little uh rectangle that your text gonna be on that but you can go maybe a bit more than 20 percent like this is already pretty clear so you can go like 30 35 maybe and you again you can experiment okay i think it's gonna be on top of the one i already did there you go so you still see the background image but you got a white transparent white rectangle so your text on top of that is gonna be looking pretty good it's gonna be easier to read i guess so it could be your chat under your webcam it could be your latest subs latest donations and stuff like that and again that's just an example but want to go and file save and png i might change his name to green overlay too okay so i'm gonna have one with and one without uh the texting and then that could be it for now okay i'm gonna show you another tool that i use I can close all that now. It's save. I got my two overlays. Just an example. I will show you now GIMP 2. Okay, so this is GIMP 2. Uh, one of the free uh, programs that you can download on the web. Again, the link is going to be in the description. 
So that's one thing that I really like to use to add some text or some pictures on my overlays that well, once you're saved, it's gonna be permanent. So maybe you don't want to, but you're gonna go on uh, file and open. I wanna get that overlay that I use or that I just created. And uh, let's say I wanna go, well, on top, on left here, you got a, a toolbar. So you can select the, uh, what do you call that, text tool. And let's say you want your name and your logo on top, okay? So you can select a, a rectangle and you can resize later if you don't like. And then on the thing, you can select the, um, the text font. Like there's a bunch, you can download your own if you like. So let's just take the good old uh, Arial Bold. Then you're gonna select uh, a color. I like to go white with some uh, black shadow. So we're gonna go white. And then I'm gonna type my name, like Earth Gaming. And it's pretty small, size 18, definitely not good enough. I'm gonna center and let's go good old. That's gonna be nice, right? And then it, you can select the move tool and put it somewhere. Oops, I don't wanna move my old thing. So we can edit uh, undo move layer. Uh, I want to move the active layer so like somewhere like that right in the middle see and if I want it to I have more uh, punch I'm gonna go light and shadow drop shadow black okay so there is gonna be better and I can repeat drop shadow like you can like do a repeat drop shadow or control F see and make it bold until you think it's good enough see how's that earth gaming looking good looking good and you can always edit and undo the last thing you made you can like move it around if you want uh, on the right you got all your layers see and then of course you can uh if you want to add images on that you can go um open as layers and then you can add an image so i will do i will do something for you guys all right so i got good old electro wizard this guy looks pretty good so what i can do with my image that you like to have images with a transparent background but you can you can resize so there's a, a thing here a scale tool scale so you're gonna click on that and uh, hit control when you resize you want to keep the aspect okay and then scale then you can move it again if you want cool so how about that and then you still have plenty of room for your text you can move it around resize if you want oops that would be active layer electro whiz there you go this guy looks so uh out of nowhere i think it looks good like that how about that pretty neat right but by the way this is just we made that whole thing in like 10 minutes okay and you don't need too many or too many things or too much stuff on that but you might want to have your logo or maybe uh, your Twitter and your uh, Facebook or stuff like that. So if you want like Twitter and Facebook on top, well, you, you can still move your, your name uh, under your cam instead. But now I just move like a, a shadow. But if you want to move the whole thing, you're going to have to maybe re undo everything and then put your name under instead. But that's pretty easy to use, guys. And again, experiment. Have fun with that. It's all about creativity don't want to do the exact same thing as everyone else just an example all right so let's do uh, another another one real quick just for fun i'm gonna close that not gonna save my name is not even earth gaming by the way all right so let's go back to uh good old online photo editor create new image transparent 1920 by 1080 okay open layer open image as a layer i'm gonna go uh, and do the purple one i want to look it's pretty cool so i'm gonna do uh, another example 
spec ratio 19 or 9 by 16 sorry this time i'm gonna go and do the thing in the middle oh yeah that's what i wanted to show like if you want your chat on the right column or left column so i'm gonna put that like in the middle the face cam is gonna be smaller if you do that in the middle though that looks pretty even so let's go and cut then uh, i do no restriction i'm gonna go for my borders like i said i'm gonna try to pick up something like pink all right that's gonna be super cool all right that's good pretty even and i'm sure there's other ways to do it it's just this is my way okay oh yeah color picker sorry guys forget that color picker let's go ahead and pick some kind of uh pink maybe or purple-ish pink that's uh, pretty white it's gonna be more pink yeah that's cool i like that yeah that's pink you like pink and do it again rectangle 9 by 16 cool and we're gonna move it so we have like even borders looking sharp cut cool all right maybe i uh i think my right border is a little bit bigger so i'm gonna undo i'm gonna move it again you know i want it to be perfect because i'm just like that that looks pretty good yeah that's looking better all right now no ratio oh yeah let's keep it like uh 16 by 9 for my webcam my face cam and let's say i want my cam on the right so we're gonna do something like that okay i'm gonna leave a bit of space on top because maybe i want to put something maybe cut then fill rectangle no restriction let's cut a nice angle for my face make it even wanna cut again and i think it's looking okay now so now let's say i want a whole rectangle for my chat on the left so i'm gonna do what i did earlier uh gradient tool i like uh, I'm gonna select a whole rectangle from my chat, okay? Something like that, maybe. Maybe uh, move it to the bottom. Or make it even. It'd be good. Alright. So, gradient. Color. And white to white. Cool. And opacity. Let's make it something like 30. Okay. Whoa. there you go that's a nice little box for my chat i think it's gonna look good definitely and i'm gonna make another box under my cam for other stuff maybe alerts and new subs and stuff i like to do that cool gradient tool Click from top to bottom. And there you go. I got a pretty nice looking overlay, I think. So my gameplay is going to be in the middle. Face cam on the right. I'm going to have my chat on the left. I'm going to have some alerts and stuff uh, under my cam. Or what you can do is put the chat under your cam and some uh, bunch of tech stuff on the left. It's up to you guys. I even have a little room on top of my face cam if I want to put my logo and my name and my facebook so this is just two quick examples guys i did it super fast you can make it look better and you can do your own thing so guys that's gonna be it for real if you guys have any question uh if you want me to cover other things that i forgot maybe but this is just the base okay this is the the frame of your overlay everything else you can just add straight to obs and delete it later and move it around if you change your mind that's gonna be 
like stuck like that and not gonna change so just don't forget to save guys all right save png again <clears throat> and that's it purple one there you go so super fast if you want to take your time make it perfect please if it helped uh don't forget to leave a comment and i'll be happy to answer peace out thanks for watching thanks to the sponsors i'll be back soon bye bye guys